This lube seriously still has not dried? I tried my best to clean it up, but it's still a little bit of residue. Oolong Johnson. <laughs> so this hurricane shit, I have a bunch of people congratulating me on uh, surviving, apparently. It hasn't happened yet. It's probably going to be happening by the time you're seeing this video. In which that process, I'm probably going to be in my car. The day I leave my house, this bullshit. Let's look up some news on it. New Jersey likely to be spared significant Hurricane Jacqueline impact. Doesn't mean we're safe. With winds of 130 miles per hour, but the latest forecast guidance calls for Jacqueline to safely turn out the sea. Never mind. So it shouldn't be that bad for us. Okay, good. I was just hoping that as I'm driving out to where I need to go, I'll just be driving mine in my own business. Gust of wind comes, a wall of rain hits my windshield, it completely blurs my vision and then since the water hit my car and then laid it on the street we would end up hydroplaning spinning from the wind we end up doing a 720 real phase rain style and then we smash and wrap around a fucking pole and we die i don't fucking like driving dude it took me so long to get my license i don't think i got my license until i was 18 or 19 years old i'm almost 22 so i mean i've had it for a few years now but i remember when i was in high school and there were kids like in the sophomore year that were taking these classes and shit to try to get their permits trying to get a permit to drive at the age of 16 and shit and i'm just like yeah I always had people come and ask me like, yo, why didn't you go and do this? Why don't you care about the whole driving test thing? Because it was kind of mandatory to take this class, but I didn't really want to do anything in it because I wasn't interested in passing because I didn't want to drive. I simply didn't want to drive because I was afraid of fucking dying. Like I just had this irrational fear. I'm the type of person that really like I'm always pent up in this kind of like shell thing. It was a scary thing for me. It was like a big change in my life. I've only recently started to grow like as a person. Back then I was really like really in my shell. Before I was kind of like, you know, like a hermit crab. I rarely came out of my shell i really moved around didn't come out of my shell and then when i finally did come out of my shell i took a couple steps and then was like yeah no this isn't cool at all now i'm more like uh patrick star in that sense where i live under a rock but i'm a dumbass that goes outside occasionally i think the final test thing like there were people that were crying over this shit there were people that like sat there in the class studied it all the way through and everything tried really fucking hard and then when they took the final test and they were like i don't know they failed completely or missed it by one etc because the grading for it was actually like kind of strict it was kind Kind of hard to actually pass that test not that the test is difficult it's that if you get too many wrong which is a small amount on this test you fail that's just how it worked and there were people that when they failed they legit cried like honestly at that point back then i just kind of sat there like why the fuck is it even a big deal but like i understand why people would be upset but back then i was i was pretty mean about it actually i was pretty cold back then honestly the people that were like crying and all upset and the people that really tried hard on it and they were like all fucking tilted from it i just kind of sat there all fucking emo and shit like it's not that big of a deal i mean you're gonna get it eventually anyway i don't even understand why you would want to get it early why are you trying to make yourself grow up faster and that was just pretty ignorant for me to say like other people have different lifestyles than me sure it was easy as fuck for me to go and say some stupid shit like that when i sat inside all day and then when you meet people that actually hate their own homes it's yeah now you understand i just sat there like there's no hope hair flip i think i finally ended up getting my permit during my senior year i think it was was it my senior year what the fuck did i get my license august 2013 yeah i didn't get my license until after i graduated then according to that anyway it should be right i graduated in 2012 2012 was a really cool year to actually graduate because everybody thought the world was gonna end so to say that i'm the class of 2012 people are always going to bring up the end of the world bullshit the year of the apocalypse even though that's been said like 400 fucking times it's still pretty cool just let me live my moment me honestly like i want to stay as young as i I possibly can for as long as I possibly can. And this might be part of the reason why I cling on the video games like all the time. I never feel like I grow up when I'm playing these games. I still get mad over the same dumb shit that I did before when I was younger. I would throw temper tantrums, fucking break shit, bite myself, scream at the top of my lungs, scream into a pillow. I'm aware that I'm kind of mentally unstable. My ex-girlfriend, she was two years younger than me. So when I graduated, she didn't have like a license or anything yet. And as soon as I got my actual license where I was able to have like more than one person in, not just a permit, my actual license license, she would always say, shit like oh can you pick me up from school can you do this can you do that yay i'm so proud of you you finally got your license now you can pick me up from school and i'm like no no i'm not gonna pick you up from school it doesn't fucking matter if i have my license or not she wanted me to pick her up from school so she didn't have to ride the bus she's one of those people that believe that her hometown is the worst fucking town on the planet she just hates everybody in it it's like that one a day to remember song i hate this town it's all washed up 
And all my friends don't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck. I used to listen to a lot of A Day to Remember, and then they got, got super popular, and I was like one of those kids like, oh, they went mainstream. They're fucking garbage now. I was like that post-hardcore kid. And I mean, at least I can admit to myself that, I mean, I do some pretty cringy shit. I mean, maybe a couple years down the road, I'll say that this shit is cringy. Maybe. Or how am I gonna explain this if I were to somehow produce a child? How am I gonna explain this to them? Hey, son, you know what your daddy did to take care of you? What, dad? I used to make videos on YouTube of me playing a video game, and people would watch me play a video game. And in those videos that people watched where I played video games, all I did was scream at the top of my lungs and make shitty jokes. Go figure. I, <laughs> I literally couldn't imagine myself doing anything else. To be completely honest with you, like, I have no other drive at all. So if this were to disappear, I disappear. You're fake if you have face freaking rain on your friends with you. Oh, oh. Somebody else, somebody just take you. God damn. What the fuck is going on in this lobby? <laughs> I know exactly what's going on. Hard hat drop zone. Yes, but you fucking my game. Okay. Hello? What's up? You told me to put my mic in and you sound like intimidating, so I put my mic in. I sound intimidating? Yeah, you have a manly ass voice. It's got this rasp to it that like if I was your wife, I'd be happy. If I just heard your voice when I woke up in the morning, I would know that my life was accomplished as a woman. Ain't nothing better than that morning rasp. <laughs> what the fuck part of YouTube am I in right now? There's just groups of people that do vlogs naked. I just came across a video called Naked Vlog. And I didn't think that they were actually naked, but they're just sitting here talking to me, vlogging while they're naked. This is fucking groundbreaking. So many times I ended up in that weird part of YouTube and I just, you know what? I'm not even gonna question myself anymore. I'm just gonna watch whatever piques my curiosity. If I see a thumbnail of someone that's basically naked that says they're doing yeah. a naked vlog, I'm gonna watch it because I want to see him do a naked vlog. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. Guess I gotta take the Osprey Gunner. If this shit blows, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, never mind. We have an Osprey Gunner. Huh? Oh. That's how I felt when me and my ex-girlfriend broke up. It was there, all fine, and then all of a sudden, just black screen. That's a really fucked up way to explain it. But for some odd reason on my phone now, I can actually see individual comments. I can never see this before. And now every time I look over at my phone, I see some comment on my video. And for some odd reason, it's always a mean ass comment. <laughs> Like, I'm having the best day in the world. I'm like, hey, who wants to text me today? And then I move my notifications down on my phone. And then the first thing right at the top in bold, YouTube. So-and-so left a comment. And then right underneath that, it says you're ugly as shit. Like, I'm afraid to look at my phone at this point because I'm on tilt after I see that. I'm a soft person. What the fuck? Hello? Did the MW3 server just go down? I figured I played a little bit too much MW2 recently, so I wanted to get on here. Black Ops 2 was fucked. So I came on this and... Ah, this shit's not fucking working. I'm just trying to figure out who the naked vlogging person is. Fuck. Okay, is my MW3 not gonna work now? Mixed media disc. What the fuck? All my discs are fucked. I gotta play fucking... That needs to move. Get the fuck out of the way. No, not MW3. What the flying... Shit! Fuck! God damn it! Stupid. So fucking stupid. Don't break your games. Don't, don't fucking do it. It's not cool. It's not fucking funny. Fuck! MW3 is definitely not gonna work now. Maybe one day they'll just move everything over to downloadable content and not discs. We don't think when we're mad. We just do really stupid fucking shit. Looks like that was my last MW3 multi. After many, probably even at least a hundred videos. After all this time questing for MW3 multis. I hit one and then the disc breaks. The fuck is Spider-Man? This guy was just looking to knife me the entire time. Fuck you. Apparently this vlogger person's actually a porn star. 